Last episode saw us secure a 3-1 win against Bordeaux to get us into the semi-final of the Coupe Nationale where we'll be facing Toulouse. A 2-0 aggregate win over Bayern Leverkusen saw us through to the quarter-finals of the Champions League where we faced RB Leipzig in the first leg, beating them at 3-1. And it was even better news in the league as we stretched out an 11-point gap at the top of the table with only seven games remaining. And of course, if you are enjoying the season so far, please feel free to like and subscribe and let's get into today's episode. And we are kicking off with an absolute banger as we have got the second leg of this Champions League quarterfinal tie against RB Leipzig. Now with a really good 3-1 result in the opening leg you'd think it would be pretty simple to progress to the next round however we have history of bottling it in this competition and we've just got to make sure we do not do the same thing today. As for the starting 11, Donnarumma's in goal, Hakimi, Kunde, Marquinhos, Kimbembe and Mendes all at the back, Barella and Carlos Soler in the centre, Anthony, Mbappe and Federico Chiesa start up front. Leipzig within the first 10 minutes have really started on the front foot and they're right on the edge of my penalty area and Donnarumma's forced into an early save. Going to be Schlager with the corner, he's going to try and put this one into the edge of the six yard box, it's out to, I don't know who it was who volleyed it, but it's Javier who picks it up Schlager, sorry, he's got it, he's tussling with my defender and in the end just hacks it way over to the left-hand side for Mendes to easily collect. Carlos Soler weaves away from Lima in the centre of the park. He's still going. Carlos Soler has been on fire so far this season. Carlos Soler still going. Forces the keeper into a save. And it goes straight into Mbappe, but he's offside. I don't believe it. I thought it was a given. Dan Juma here. Dan Juma's got a man open in Kunku. He finds him, and Kunku with a great strike. And Donnarumma with an even better save. It has to be said, within the first 20 minutes, Leipzig have definitely been the better team as they search for at least one more goal to try and get themselves back into this game. Dan Juma, tussling with Hakimi, wins it from him. It's now Timber, the centre-back, who picks it up. Weaves around Marquinhos. It's a great block from Kunde, and Hakimi can literally just hack that one away. Conrad Lima into Nkunku. It's all Leipzig in the opening 30 minutes of this game. Dan Juma, oh, into Dani Almo, and it's a great finish. Just bowers it past Donnarumma, gave him no chance and RB Leipzig deservedly take an early lead here. Kunde into Carlos Soler. Carlos Soler takes it down really nicely. Mbappe, oh, looking for a run into Chiesa. He just gets blocked off by the goalkeeper and they just about hack it away. Barella, Barella picks it up, strikes with the outside of his foot. Good save. Chiesa on the left hand side. He's been pretty quiet so far in this game, but Mbappe picks it up, feeds it into Nuno Mendes. Nuno Mendes picks it up really nicely, tries to lay it into Anthony, who's equally been just as quiet. Barella picks it up. He turns, puts it onto his right, strikes right against the defender. Still somehow has the ball. Still somehow gets blocked off. But Carlos Soler has it now. Hits it with his right. And the goalkeeper with another great save. Barella with the corner. Right on the stroke of half-time. Right into the head of Anthony, I think it was. It's pushed over the bar by the goalkeeper as the referee blows for half-time. Carlos Soler into Barella. Barella looks for Anthony, who I'm hoping is going to have a bit of a more busy second half than he did the first. He manages to try and get round Raum, he kept hold of it, going to try and put a ball in, it's a good ball in, into the head of Barella and it's a pretty soft header. Colo Barella again, finds Carlos Soler, Carlos Soler going to try and feed a ball to Chiesa, he does find a ball to Chiesa, into the box, there's literally no one in there. Kimbembe, Kimbembe on the left hand side, what on earth is he doing there, finds himself on the wing, he goes past the defender, going to try and cut it into Mbappe, tries to dink it over the goalkeeper, oh it's a complete mess. And fortunately for Leipzig, the goalkeeper just about manages to get hold of it. Chiesa, Chiesa lays a lovely ball to Nuno Mendes this time. He finds himself on the left, finds Carlos Soler, it's too heavy a touch. Dan Juma for Leipzig, Leipzig looking for an equaliser here on aggregate. And it's Jackal, who's running down the right-hand side, manages to get past Kimbembe. That is sensational defending from Nuno Mendes. Carlos Soler played a ball into Chiesa. Chiesa's surely got the pace to get past Conrad Lima, but I'm going to try and go back inside, look for Mbappe. He shifts it onto his right, goes to strike. What a save. He couldn't get there. The save of the substitute, Diaby did. Barella whips it in. Again, we can't get on the end of it. He tried to find Diaby, but the referee blows the whistle. And we just about hold on. It's a 1-0 loss. But overall, we get through on aggregate. Really tricky game, but we get the job done. And we will be going into the semi-final of the Champions League. And it's a semi-final against Manchester City. What a tie that is going to be. Before we get to that, though, we've got the small matter of three more league games to come. Starting off with a home game against Nice, a former title rival who, according to the table, have completely fallen off a cliff and aren't even in the top five anymore. In spite of that, though, the points are shared and it's 1-1 at home. And we just cannot seem to beat Nice. I just don't know what it is about them. We recover well though and show great character after going down 1-0 to an early Yoli G goal. 
Two goals from Malassia and Diaby give us the three points. And in what appeared to be a very tight affair, we managed to scrape a 1-0 win at home to Montpellier thanks to a 66-minute goal from Osserman. And whilst those results do mean that our lead at the top has been cut down to only nine points with four games remaining, one more win is pretty much all we need to secure the title once again. However, it's time to put the league on hold and turn our attention back to the big one. That is right. It is a first leg semi-final tie against Manchester City. Now, normally, as you know, I don't play the first legs of the European ties, but with a semi-final against Manchester City being such a massive game, it was too good for me to sim. And of course, I've gone back to the starting eleven that beat Leipzig to get us into the Champions League semi-final. That is Donnarumma in goal, Hakimi, Kunde, Marquinhos, Kimbembe, Mendes at the back, Varela Soler in the centre, Anthony and Mbappe and Federico Chiesa up front. Carlos Soler looks for Chiesa out wide on the left-hand side. He looks for Mbappe in the centre. Mbappe's going to try and feed it back to him. He does feed it back to him. Chiesa takes a great touch, but then shifts it onto his right really nicely. He's still going. Chiesa just gets blocked off by Rodri. Haaland. Oh, what a ball from Haaland. Can Hakimi beat Phil Foden to it? No, he can't. Phil Foden out muscling Hakimi. What is going on? He's just pushed him over. Bernardo Silva. Phil Foden. Nuno Mendes with a massive block. Kimbembe. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Straight to Pedro Gonzalez, he gives it to Bernardo Silva, gets it back from him, lovely one-touch pass in between the two of them. Teo Hernandez bringing this forward, finds himself in central midfield, lovely footwork to get away from Barella, he feeds it into Nunes, Haaland the danger man has it, Marquinhos tries to put a challenge in, Haaland, Haaland sorry, too strong for him, back to Pedro Gonzalez, Marquinhos fights back though, Haaland fights him back, it's into Foden, Foden tried to lift it over, Donnarumma, Donnarumma with a massive save and a punch to get it clear and we are holding on for dear life here. Federico Chiesa just tries to lift this one over to Anthony who's been really quiet but that is a fantastic takedown. Shifts it onto his left, passes it back in field for Barella. Barella looks for Anthony again, can he find him? He's just taken out by Diaz. How on earth is that not a penalty? It's Rodri bringing the ball forward now. End-to-end -end stuff here inside the first half. And Haaland's got it. Rise in a dangerous position. Marquinhos can't keep up with him. Haaland strikes. Oh, my word. Absolutely ballooned it over the bar. Marquinhos into Carlos Soler. Carlos Soler to try and feed in Mbappe. Just took a bit of a heavy touch, but he still manages to get around the defender. Can he just feed this in to Soler? He can. Great goalkeeping. We can't get the ball back. Oh, it's all over the place. And they just get it clear. And can try and drive right into the penalty area. Can I just try and dink this across? Where is Mbappe when you need him? Carlos Soler, what a ball. That is sensational. Chiesa gets there ahead of the right back. Chiesa going to try and play it across right into Anthony off the post. Can Mbappe get there? Yes, he can. He smashes it into an open net and he gives us a 1-0 lead here. It has been end to end. What a fantastic game it has been as Chiesa just drilled it into Anthony. I thought my luck was out when he smashed it against the post, but Mbappe was on hand to bundle it home to give us a 1-0 lead. Mbembe lays a lovely ball out to Chiesa. Oh, that's a beautiful knockdown right into the path of Nuno Mendes. Nuno Mendes is just going to try and lay this across to Mbappe. Oh, what defending. It's Carlos Soler who picks it up though and he strikes straight at the goalkeeper. Into Carlos Soler. The referee blows for full time. It's 1-0. It is a hard fought 1-0. End-to-end stuff, back and forth. Either team could have won it, but we get the job done and we put ourselves in a really good position heading into the second leg. It's back to the lead now, though, and surely we are one win away from title glory. Nine points separating us from second place Marseille with only four games remaining. We have an away game against Troyes, who sit in 14th place. Marseille have a home game against a relegation-threatened Strasbourg who will be fighting for their lives. Let's hope and pray they can get a result. And my word, do we send out a message to Marseille, a 4-0 message to be more precise. Goals from Vinicius Jr. and an awesome and hat-trick secure the three points. We've done enough on our side. Have they, though? They have done enough. A 1-0 win is enough to keep them just nine points behind us and to keep their title fight alive. And whilst the goal difference between us is ridiculous, technically, they will need a miracle, but they can still win the title. It's time to head on to the final game of this episode, though, and it is the biggest game of the season so far. It is away at Manchester City and it's a second leg Champions League semi-final game. We lost the Champions League semi-final in the dying seconds in season one. We lost the Champions League final in the dying seconds in season two. We lost the Champions League final again in stoppage time in season three. Surely, surely it is fourth time a charm. We have to pray to the gods and hope we can get through to the Champions League final this time. 
Anthony picks it back up though, gives it to Carlos Soler, he shifts it onto his right, finds a good goal scoring opportunity, but it's well saved by Edison. Barella has a second bite of the cherry though, whips it across this time, looking for, I think it was Mbappe or was it Jules Kunde? not sure, neither of them can get their head on it though, and Manchester City can try and break into Erling Haaland, and Erling Haaland can run into space, and Nuno Mendes the only man trying to track him back, Erling Haaland, what a strike, what a save. Rafael Leal, nice footwork, trying to get away from Jules Kunde. does, gets it back from uh, Pedro Gonzalez, but Marquinhos with a massive piece of defending into Anthony. Anthony finds Mbappe, checks back inside. Going to try and dink this one over into the path of Carlos Soler. It's a lovely ball. He takes it down perfectly. What a strike. What a save. He does have the power and the sense to check back inside. Erling Haaland to Burt. Erling Haaland gets it back. Strikes off the post. Oh, we are riding our luck here. Can he find a ball in? No, he can't. It rebounds off the defender. He gets it back. He's got a second opportunity. Dinks it in. Looking for Barella. He can't get his head on it. Carlos Soler can, but the defender's clearing away. Finds Kimbembe. Kimbembe from distance lines up a strike, and it's a pretty soft one. Barella into Mbappe, who's been pretty quiet so far in this game. Mbappe picks it up, though, drives into the box, looks to go past Ruben Diaz, strikes. Oh, that is absolutely sensational. Mbappe gives us a two goal aggregate lead with nothing short of absolute individual brilliance. He takes the touch, he just turns. Eyes up Ruben Diaz, just drives past him, goes into the box and absolutely smashes it past Edison. Gives him no chance and he gives us a 1-0 lead here, a 2-0 lead on aggregate and we have one foot in the Champions League final. City will kick us off in this second half. We have 45 minutes to hold on. 45 minutes to seal our ticket into the Champions League final. Haaland, though, into Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans twisting and turning, gives it back to Haaland, strikes it against Marquinhos. It's Vertu who has it again. Rodri into Rafael Liao. Hakimi with some great defending, but he gets blocked off. Rodri picks it up again. It's into Vert. Haaland, Haaland twisting. It's off Marquinhos. Literally just all bodies, all hands to the wall here. Carlos Soler is going to go back to Chiesa. A wonderful ball. First time crossing. Looking for Anthony. 20 minutes here to hold on to this two goal aggregate lead. Headed away by Hakimi. Great stuff from him. Can he get there ahead of Guerrero? He can. Hakimi now can stretch his legs. He's got the pace. He doesn't have the power though to get away from Guerrero. The substitute wins it back off of him. Rafael Leal twists away. Looks for Foden. Wonderful defending from Jules Kunde. Foden now. Foden into Greenish to strike. Good save from Donnarumma. Barella, oh, he's challenged by Rafael Leal. That is sloppy. Haaland into Grealish who strikes. Donnarumma to the rescue again. Leal looks to go short for the corner. He does. Finds Phil Foden. Phil Foden going to look for a player ball across. It's a good ball. Grealish has it. Donnarumma is on absolute fire. Foden with the corner this time. City knocking on the door all this second half. It's Vinicius the Junior, sorry, the substitute to head it away. Grealish gets there ahead of him though. Bremer, the defender. Oh my word, Donnarumma is just an absolute brick wall at the back. Five minutes left here, it's a corner, the goalkeeper's up here, headed away by Hakimi. Can he get there first ahead of El Nezri? No, he can't. He gets there first. City still piling the pressure on. Guerrero now has it. Into Foden, lovely touch, looks for Rafael Leal. The referee blows the whistle though, game over. 1-0 here, 2-0 on aggregate. Sensational performance today by that man, Kylian Mbappe. He stepped up when I needed him to. And for the third season running, we will be playing in the Champions League final. And the press are right to sing this man's praises. Gianluigi Donnarumma was an absolute brick wall at the back across both of those legs. And he is a clean sheet leader in the Champions League. 11 games, six clean sheets, and he's been absolutely sensational. And there is no doubt, without that man, we would not be playing in the final this season. And after beating Liverpool 4-2 on aggregate in the other semi-final, it is Italian Giants into Milan. We will be playing in the Champions League final. So we are one game away from Champions League glory. We are only two games away from Coupe Nationale glory and we are only one point away from securing a second league title in a row. The treble is well and truly on and I hope you can join me for the next episode to see whether or not we can do it. That is it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.